Hi guys, Meg Twin here. I've been working on this chicken thing all day today and I got a little excited that I was able to figure it out. Get rid of that nav mesh thing. Um, first off, I'll explain the issue I was having. What I was trying to do was have the player uh, have the ability to pick the chickens up out of the coop after he put them in. Um, my issue was the chickens that are being spawned in are of type character and let me uh, open my other inventory chicken here where's my inventory right there items animals and BP chicken brown the event graph okay well this is just a instance of an inventory item the BP chicken brown so when I have it uh, when I consume it when I hit E on it and actually no not when I hit E when I click on it in the inventory this is uh, what it does it uh, all right, we get the uh, player's location, and we do a line trace, and I find out what the hit actor is to make sure it's actually a coop, or the chicken can't be placed in it if it's not a coop. And up here, I have a certain chicken count. The small coop can hold uh, 10. I set it down to 6 for this uh, testing, and the large can hold, I think, what, 20? something like that let me take a yeah 20 so once it uh, does the chicken count and we can make sure that we can add more chickens to it I have it spawning a the character the, the CH chicken character this one here this guy what I needed to do was have the ability to pick the character chicken back up. So let me show you what I did here. I'm going to go ahead, I set it down to six. I want to go ahead and buy seven. Okay, we have seven now. And I'm going to go put them in the coop. I'm only going to put six in the coop at first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six chickens in here. Now if I open it up and I try to put another one, it says max coop limit reached. So I can't add that. Now if I go around, I can pick these up. and I can go back to my inventory and respawn them again just like that cool <laughs> it was a little bit hard to work out because they're the inventory type chicken is a actor and the actual chicken in there is a character so what I ended up doing was uh, adding a sphere collision to my character chicken and in the event graph I have it uh, showing the widget showing that it's a chicken that's why you see the widget whenever he interacts with it and then here on the interact event that I have I minus the chicken count for the small coop and I'll be doing this for the big one too I'll have to check and see which coop it is so I subtract one because I'm taking a chicken away that's why it knows that uh, I can add that other chicken because the count has gone down this is where I spawn in the inventory chicken for the player to pick up and if you notice I was clicking twice and I don't know how to get around that. I'll show you again. Let's play. I'll just buy one this time. <laughs> I'm going 
go over here. We'll open this up because we have to be in a coop. I think I showed you that last video. If I'm not in the coop, I can't put it. I'll go ahead and do it real quick in case I didn't. I don't remember right now. Yeah, so you can't put that here. So you absolutely have to be in a coop before you can put a chicken down. So we can put that down. And if you'll notice, now that's the inventory chicken that was spawned and the other chicken has uh, disappeared. <laughs> so I can go ahead and pick him up and he will show back up in my inventory. I was trying to wrap my head around this for the longest time so I'm super excited that I was able to figure it out. So uh, we have our chicken. <laughs> I made a chicken carcass for when the chickens are butchered and that shows up in the inventory, a chicken carcass. And what I have down here, I was trying to figure out uh, kind of a less violent way to have to take care of the animals when it comes time to butcher them. So I made this building, which is, uh, for the lack of better name for it, uh, uh, let me see something here. Let me <laughs> open it up. Because that's not supposed to be, uh, you're not supposed to be able to see through that. And I don't, let's see why. Oh, I know why. I think I have them set to hidden. All right, let me fix this first. Get to see a little bit of work here. I'll select all the ceiling tiles. I think I have them hidden. Is there any other ceiling tiles? No. Okay, I think I have them hidden because I was trying to do some work inside here and I couldn't see. <laughs> Where are we at here? And visible. Okay. Compile and save. Alright, let's go back into the project. And we'll go over here. This is not set up yet. This is something I'm working on, but I had to figure out the ability to pick the chickens back up first to put them back in the inventory. And this is basically a kill house. So you go in. Yeah, we can see the ceiling now. You'll go in and you'll place your uh, animal in here from your inventory. I don't know how to make a leash or whatever, you know, to, to make the animal... Uh, I could make the animal follow on a whistle or something. Um, not haven't quite figured that out yet. I'm just still working on the chickens. But uh, he'll be able to bring the chickens in here and then he'll be able to put them down and then he will leave and then out here will be some kind of button that he can push and when that button's pushed all those chickens will be killed and these things will be spawned afterward so he can go in he'll then be able to go in and he'll be able to pick up the carcasses and put them in his inventory. That's the best thing I could figure out for now. I took, <laughs> I modeled this in Blender, that little chicken thing, the chicken carcass. I modeled that in Blender and uh, popped it in there so we could have some chicken meat. So yeah, I was pretty excited to be able to get this worked out today. I still have some uh, other things to do. I have to set it up for the big coop as well and for the white chicken because I don't have the white chicken set up yet I don't think let me see I think they're separate blueprints let's check it out just for kicks I might have to go into it yeah I think I'm gonna have to open its uh, blueprint and make the changes in it Okay, I don't, yeah, I think these are different. Yeah, I don't have it set up. I'll have to set these up, and then I'll have to uh, figure this part out here. Now, I want to show you something else. I was having an issue with the possibility of the chickens being spawned outside of the coop. So what I did, 
Where's my small chicken coop? Viewport, event graph, okay. I added a uh, box collision and I called it bounding box. And then in the in the chicken brown, For the spawning, let me go over here. I get the chicken coop reference, I get the bounding box, I get the scaled box extent in the world location, and then I get a point within this box. That way I don't have to worry about the uh, chicken being spawned outside of the area. Out, out here somewhere. It'll always be spawned in here because that's where the bounding box is. And I'll show that to you right here. That orange highlighted area. So the chickens can only be spawned within this area. So yeah, I'm still working on this thing. Um, I was a bit worried about figuring out how to pick up the uh, chickens and put them back in the inventory in order to be able to transport them uh, different places. So I got that figured out. So yeah, that's it. Um, my next thing is to get this kill house working. And why does my roof not show up? <laughs> oh, I, because I had them, uh, let me find the roof pieces. Where's the roof? The ceiling. That's not it. It's these. Yeah, I had them hidden too. Okay. Alright, there we go. There's my kill building. For the lack of better naming, I just call it a kill building. So, my next thing is to take my chickens that I want to butcher, put them back in my inventory, be able to walk over here and go into this building, set them all down, come outside, hit a button, and make some kind of buzzing sound, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, the player can walk in and he'll be able to pick up the amount of carcasses that matches the amount of chickens that were put in there. There's a lot more to this than what I thought there was, to be totally honest. Um, a lot of things I didn't uh, think about here. But little by little, I am getting them worked out. So, all right. Well, as usual, thanks for being here. And stay tuned, and we'll see where else this goes. Bye-bye.